Those are impressive sideburns. Harry banters with a bearded Chelsea pensioner during his D-Day visit, and tells another veteran he's lucky to have three nurses looking after him. The Duke of Sussex was at his charming best as he met Chelsea pensioners on a royal visit today. Prince Harry, 34, bantered with military veterans and staff during a visit to the Royal Hospital Chelsea, in London, to mark the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Making his way down a lineup, Harry joked with one veteran named John about his sideburns, telling him, they're very impressive. When John told the prince he sleeps with one eye open Harry agreed he must, or else another resident might shave them off apostrophe. Prince Harry was at the Royal Hospital Chelsea to review its legendary scarlet coat wearing residents on their annual Founders Day Parade, which commemorates King Charles II founding the institution in 1681. It is the nation's most famous retirement and nursing home for servicemen and women and currently houses some 300 veterans. The prince said, I think we should all be incredibly proud and grateful knowing that 46 of you here fought in the Second World War, many of you in other conflicts including Korea, Malaya, Borneo and that the youngsters among you wear Northern Ireland, South Atlantic and First Gulf War medals with pride. On this 75th anniversary of D-Day, I can comfortably speak for everyone when I say we are honored to be in the presence of six Normandy Landing veterans. To all who are on parade today, I can only say that you are a constant reminder of the great debt we owe those who have served this nation. You embody the fitting home that awaits them in the peace and tranquility of the Royal Hospital, should they want it. But more widely, wherever you are, your presence is a symbol of the sacrifices that have been made by all veterans to sustain the freedoms and democracy we value so deeply today. The prince, wearing the ceremonial frock coat of his former regiment, the Blues and Royals, looked delighted to be in the company of so many distinguished men and women. As he arrived at the home there was time to meet some of the pensioners in their home surroundings. Speaking to nurses coming off the night shift. Harry asked if the residents had been behaving themselves at night. When the women responded they had, Harry looked at them incredulously. Harry also introduced himself to Cedric Frank Swift, 90, who asked by the prince how he was. Not very well, I can't walk, he roared, making the royal visitor guffaw with laughter. He also stopped to chat to Keith Fred Brunger, 91, a resident of the home for 14 years who was making Royal British Legion poppies. Harry helped the former solider with the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers make one of his flowers using a simple round wooden instrument. I asked him if he would like to make one and he did, he said and was particularly impressed that the prince politely took one glove off to do it. On the parade ground, Harry stood and saluted and groups of the smartly uniformed pensioners either walked or drove past on their identical red electric scooters. They included Britain's Got Talent winner Colin Thackeray, 89, who last week won the ITV Talent Show's £250,000 prize and a spot performing in front of the Queen at the Royal Variety Performance. He then encouraged those fit enough to stand in recognition of the veterans and those who have sacrificed their lives for our freedom. Among those he spoke to was Ernest Boyden, 94, originally from Brixton who was wireless operator with the Royal Horse Artillery and took part in the Normandy landings. He was shot in the right arm during the conflict. He said afterwards, It was a strange feeling at the time. I feel very proud now, of course. The point of it was so that you younger people could enjoy life. Meanwhile in Staffordshire William laid a wreath at the Normandy Campaign Memorial, along with dignitaries and veterans. A personal message from the Duke of Cambridge, attached to the poppy wreath, read, in memory of all those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. We will remember them. William.